Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thimbleweed Park. In the last episode, thanks to a little hint or two, we found our way through that pesky forest to the secret meeting. Underneath a pizza van, of all places. And it turns out that only Ransom can actually come down here and say hello to Chet, Pizza Man himself. So yeah, apparently there's some secret meeting going on that they've been waiting for us for, to start. And also that there's a goodie bag, which is good stuff. Uh, before I talk to him a little bit more, let's just grab this speck of dust. We are so close. Four more pieces. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Stay vigilant. Uh, what is this beeping place? What is this place? It's our secret bunker. Brett built it so we can finally be safe from the government and their high frequency mind control waves. They only work above ground. Ah, uh, so this is to do with the strong signals. I knew it. I mean, there was a big radar dish on the top, which kind of gives it away. Uh, you know, you're beeping crazy. Are you even a pi Good point. Does he even sell pizza? Are you, if Are you even a pizza guy? It's just a cover, so I can go find new recruits without drawing the eye of the man. It's like Brett always tells me. Got to blend in. Oh, and a giant slice of talking pizza totally blends in here in a town that doesn't have a pizza joint, right? Uh, exactly. Hide in plain sight. Idiot. You know, you've got to blend in when you're a pizza. Cheese blend in. <laughs> I'm so funny. Why a pizza costume? Why not something less conspicuous? Like a clown costume. Duh. Like I'd go above ground without protection from the signals, you gomer. My whole pizza suit is lined with foil. Oh yeah. You're wearing a foil-lined pizza costume, and I'm the gomer. Moron. How many morons have you recruited so far? I got quite a few of the town folk on board now. We got the Pigeon Sisters, George the Postman, Carney Joe, DJ Cassie. We're growing, but we still got to keep it on the down low. I can't have the sheriff getting suspicious and trying to shut us down. Good thing there ain't anything suspicious about you, face. Wow, that's, that's quite a little group he's got going on there. And I suppose that also includes Batman. We've seen him walk through the forest. So that's always good to have Batman on your team. You know you're crazy, right? You just think that because you've been on the surface too long, dude. If you stay down here and let the effects of the signals wear off, you'll realize how much sense this all makes. <laughs> or you could wrap your head in tinfoil and protect your brain. You! I ain't ruining my clown fro for some conspiracy nut job. Do you really believe this conspiracy crap? I trust my brother. Brett is like the smartest guy I know, and he explained everything to me. Like how Mucus Phlegm secretly makes games that deny us free will, and CDs are a government conspiracy to prevent us from playing songs backwards and picking up their coded messages. Your brother's a balloon, kid. Okay, I was gonna ask who Brett is, and there's our question answered. So it's Brett and Chet. What a lovely... What is it with weirdly coupled names? Like Cody and Cody and Brett and Chet and... This place is weird. I, I think I'm on... I think I agree with him. There's something weird going on with this town. Hmm. I think I left my hot plate on. Gotta run. What a waste of time. Don't forget to take a goodie bag. Did we get one? No. Okay, we haven't picked it up yet. Alright, so let's go in. Let's go meet this Brett and maybe... All the other people, the sisters, the postman, the... Oh, wow. Oh, there's... Oh, there's loads. We're starting the meeting now. Please, oh. gather around. Hello, all. Thank you for coming to this very important informational meeting. I'm Brett Lockdown, and that's my brother Chet guarding the elevator. <laughs> Hiya. First, I have to ask. Any feds here? No way. All right, then. Let's begin. 
Have you heard the signals? The government is controlling your mind. They are taking away your free choice. We are becoming mindless sheep with no control over our destiny. Fight back. Are you with us? Yeah. Squawk. Yes, I'm with you. Yeah. That's all for now. Stay vigilant. And don't forget to take a goodie bag before you leave. Watch it. Out of the way. Out of the way. Hey, no pushing. No pushing. No pinching. Ouch. Ouch. Hey. Eek. Ouch. Uh... I did not expect Richard O'Brien to be leading some sort of conspiracy nutcase group. But there you go. <laughs> no, that was weird. That was a very short meeting. All that prep for just a couple sentences. Uh, right. Well, now we're down here. Let's grab one of these, finally. Can we open it? Can we see what's inside? <gasps> Ooh, a foil-wrapped brick. It's pretty heavy. Uh, it's a brick wrapped in aluminum foil. Great. Looks like a strange floppy disk. It says Silbury Hacker Boot Disk on the label. Silbury Hacker Boot Disk. Huh, I wonder if Dolores can do something with that, potentially. Right, what else do we have down here? We have lots of monitors. With static. We have some sort of scope thing. Lockers. Can we go talk to Brett? Where did he go? Oh, can we go that way? No. How? Oh. Is that it? Really? Oh. Can I just take these ones as well? I already got one. <laughs> oh, come on. We're Ransom the Clown. We should be greedy. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Stay vigilant. No, Rao. Well, okay, that really is it. All right. Mm, what? Don't forget to. Yeah, we got a we got a goodie bag. So, great. Okay. Bye. I gotta admit, I thought there'd be more to it for being some sort of secret cult thing. I thought it'd be a bit more interesting, frankly. <laughs> it was a bit dull. Yep, there's the radar. Okay, so let's see if we can give this to Dolores. Carry this for me. And a foil wrapped brick. You know what, you take this as well. I don't want to carry this anymore. Mainly because anything foil related I immediately want to put into the uh, microwave. So let's go do that. Go back home. See how digging Doug is doing. <laughs> digging Doug is doing. Where are you Doug with your shiny new... Oh, there you are. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, mostly. Oh, then I okay. Tar okay, great. Nothing new with you then. Great. Yeah, I don't know why I want to do this. It might not even let me, but... Anything foil, I just think, well, you never know. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, no, I can't even use it. Can I... Hmm. Can I give it to... No. Okay, that is not... That is not the answer. Fine. Let's go up to our room. Let's do some hacking. Time to hack. Is there a floppy disk? I'm sure this will work. The disk is in the wrong format. Oh. Did I? Hang on, I might have done it on the wrong bit. It doesn't work in that. Darn. Do we not have a floppy drive? I thought we did. Looks like a strange floppy disk. It says Silbury Hacker Boot Disk on the label. Hmm. I guess, uh... Yeah, I guess we don't use it here. It doesn't work. No. Okay. Well done. <laughs> this game is such a tease. Like, it'll give you this new little... A new little thing like the meeting, and then it will just give you a couple random bits that don't actually help much right now. So... <laughs> How mean. Hmm. 
What else is there left to do? Let's think about this. So we have... Oh, we got the full... Oh, yes. Oh, okay, great. We have the fully charged battery. I forgot about that. Let's go and put that in. Ha 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 ha. Then we can do the time clock thing. And then maybe even... Oh, hey, Reyes. Uh, be able to get inside the factory? That would be good. You watch, though. This, this is not going to be as simple. I just know it. I just sense it. Okay, use battery there. Huh. Okay, I uh, <laughs> I take that back. That did work fairly simply. Right. So, with that done, 6175 is the number to call, and then we'll know what number to set the time clocks to. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 11 o'clock. Exactly. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Let's just skip straight to Reyes. So, let's dial in. Oh, it's going to take ages. Okay, good. I need to find the correct time to set it to. Did that actually remember my time? Okay, it did. Great. Do I have to press anything else? No. I right. need to find I'm going to go around and very quickly set all the time clocks to 11 o'clock. It's my father's old pocket watch. Oh, wait, that... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, never mind. I did it wrong. So 11 o'clock was only for clock one, because that one turned green over there. So I guess we need to ring up every single time to find out for each one. Thank you for calling. For today, proper start time for station one is... 11 o'clock. Exactly. Oh. Okay, that's weird. Then why didn't this one turn green? Oh, right. Hang on. Why did that one work? Why did it work after five minutes? Oh, okay. It does say it right there. <laughs> When making the rounds, be sure to check into each security box within five minutes of the last box. Okay, great. When the correct time is entered, the station light will turn green. Okay, so... Box 2 was 11.05, so I'm guessing box 3 is 11.10, and box 4 is The door, the big door is flashing green. Oh, fantastic. Let's go check. Something else is not going to work. I just know it. I'm very paranoid in this episode. Is it going to work? Oh, no, we need a we need a tube, don't we? I bet we need a tube. Hmm, nothing happens. Looks like a tube socket. Oh. Ah. <sighs> Hang on a minute. I can't open that. So it's a, a DT. A DT. What did Dolores have? I always forget. It's a special tool to remove vacuum tubes in the TX and AT class. Okay, so not that one. Joe, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to... Uh, Ricky Lee. Because I remember when we had trouble before with the tube stuff and, you know, she's there. I, no, it was the Thimbleberry stuff, wasn't it? But then it reminded me, yeah, she does tubes. I've got to stop saying tubes because it just is wrong. It's tubes to me. Hello. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to... 
Oh, hang on. I have to. Does it have to be Reyes then? Perhaps so. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger, hon. Okay, so that was there was nothing about Dortron tubes. Rats. I thought that would be maybe a lead, but I guess not. Um, where else are we going to get a Dortron tube from? Unless there's some elsewhere. It's pretty heavy. It's a brick wrapped in aluminum foil. Let me see what's inside the foil. Oh, okay. Uh, I just opened the brick, the brick foil thing, and it's an explosive. <laughs> it's a brick of C4 explosive. Better be very careful with this. Oh, uh, wow. Okay, we... Talk about a goodie bag. Blimey. It's a sheet of aluminum foil. Huh. Um, yeah, it's fine. We'll just walk around with a giant explosive. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I'm thinking. It's the official. It's supposed to dispense one piece deadly of candy sparks. each time you use it. But it emits deadly sparks <laughs> instead. Anything we need to uh, explode, perhaps? I can't reach that. Okay, well, anyway, um, I'm still trying to think about this door, Dortron tube. I don't really know. Now I want to try this. I'd better save it for something else. Okay, we don't we don't make the microwave go zap. I don't really know what that would have done. Is that dust down there? No, damn, I'm so close. I need all that dust. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna carry on looking around. Think about what to explode. It's a Dortron 3000, but it's miss. It's a tube socket for Uncle Chuck's secret PF001 Tron tube. Wait, I've seen a picture of one of these somewhere. Have you? Where? It's a Pillowtronics T-shirt. The only thing I got. It's a Pillowtronics T-shirt. The only thing I got from Uncle Chuck. There's a schematic of his secret PF001 tube on the front, just like the one needed at the factory. Oh, okay. I wonder... <laughs> can we use the t-shirt instead of a real one? <laughs> I'm not wearing it. No, can we maybe give it to Ricky Lee and she can see if she's got one, or can she make one? I did not realise there was one on the shirt itself. It really is a case, this game, of going around to all the places and doing things with each individual character because they all say different stuff. It's ridiculous. You've got to do everything like four or five different times. <laughs> ah, okay, give uh, this to Ricky. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Ricky, take a look at my t-shirt. Can you make the tube in the schematic? Interesting. Chuck's design is brilliant. Yes, I can make this tube. Won't be a jiffy. Oh, Ricky Lee, bless you. Here's the PF001 tube. Exactly how Chuck designed it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Do you think this is a clue? Do you think Chuck gave us that t-shirt on purpose to see that? I don't know. I don't know. Um, who are we, who we going to go into the factory as? I think it's got to be Dolores. Yeah, screw, screw the feds. We're sticking with Dolores. No, not that one. That one. Okay, is this it? Are we actually going to enter the factory? Is something going to go wrong? Are we going to be attacked by some evil AI thing inside? Find out next time. No, not really. We're going to, <laughs> We're going to do it now. Oh, okay. Here we go. Is it this one? Nope. This one. Use. It fits perfectly. 
and now we push the big red button. Let's hope it doesn't have the same functionality as this red button. <laughs> the doors moved a little, but stopped. They must be stuck. Oh well, there you go. I, I called it. I called it, didn't I? It's never simple. They're now unlocked. They're stuck. We need like a... A crowbar. Or... It opened just a little more. Reset. Uh, what just happened then? I wanted to blow it up. <laughs> that happened if I did anything on it? Yeah, okay. It opened just a little more. Hmm. Reset. All right, we need I think we need two we need two characters here for this because I think one of them's going to keep it open. The other one has to do something on the inside. Is it this strange tool? Perhaps a paperweight? <laughs> A wrench would make a lot of sense, actually. Anything else we have? Not really there. Oh, I forgot Ransom was here. Look, he's hiding in the back. Mm, no, I think it's going to be Ray. Let's get Ray over there. See if she can help with her strange tool. Alright, here we go. So, let's just see what this does, first of all, on its own. It opened a little more. Damn. No, okay, so someone has got to do that first step, so... Let's just use. There we go. Because it gives you back control while they're doing that, so it definitely it wants you to change just character. a little more! It opened a little more. Oh, I know what we need to do. Reset. Damn. Oh, does it want us to use all the characters at the same time? I think it might. I like that. I like when the game forces us to actually have a bit of teamwork. I liked when we did that theremin thing last time. And it needed every single person to do something. That was nice. So if this is the answer, I'm pleased. Also because I actually got it fairly quickly. <laughs> Uh, that's the wrong way, hang on. I mean, I could be wrong, but let's find out. Okay, here we go. The whole gang back together. Let's try this, shall we? Oh, wow. <laughs> Stretch Armstrong over here. Moved. I think they're unlocked. It opened a little more. I think someone could squeeze through now. I think I can squeeze through the opening now. Holy! Oh, you said it, Cloud. This can't be. It's not possible. What have you done, Uncle Chuck? <laughs> Part 7, The Madness. Oh, what a cliffhanger. <laughs> Those look like bouncing wings. Shut up, Ransom. What the hell is going on? I don't want to go any closer to that. And you know what? I'm not. I'm going to be annoying once again. We've kind of reached the end of this episode. We're going to explore more of this creepy looking place and find out what Chuck has done next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.